We are gathered here to meditate on the seven precious words of Jesus Christ that he uttered as he was hanging on the cross. Since I'll be speaking all the seven on all the seven verses, I've taken a theme. The theme is what is so good about Good Friday. I came up with this uh, <clears throat> theme because once a person, his name is Mr. Abraham Money, he's a member of St. Andrew's Kirk, and he told me, Pastor, one of my friends called me in the early morning in Good Friday and said, Happy Good Friday. So I was really shocked. I didn't know what to answer. Then I said, thank you, and laughed. And I asked him, do you know what day is today? And what do we observe on this day? He said, no. He was a Hindu, so he didn't know anything about it. <clears throat> then he said, uh, we on this day, we remember the death of Jesus Christ. He died on the cross on Passover day. That happens to be this day. That's why we call it Good Friday. Then he said, a friend asked him, why do you call it good? It should be a sad day or a bad day. Why do you call it Good Friday? Then I was thinking about that. In what way Good Friday is good? And to whom all it is good? So I have seen in all the seven verses, whatever word that Jesus uttered was meant for good of one or the other people. So I am concentrating on the sub-themes. It is good for different, different souls. I'll come up with that at each meditation. Now it is good for us. Jesus' death is good for us. We all know that. But at the same time, as we gather here at the foot of the cross, I want you to first bear in mind in what sort of mood we are gathered here, with what attitude we are gathered here, or with what kind of mindset that we are gathered here on this Good Friday in this beautiful church and meditate on the seven words. Now for that, I would like to show you the different people who are gathered around the cross, the foot of the cross. There were some soldiers who were there doing their duty. They were just doing their job out of compulsion. They are there. And they represent the people who think that as a Christian, we have to go to Good Friday to the church and participate in the service. Otherwise, what will other members in the congregation think about me? Oh, I've been going for many, many years. My father used to go to Good Friday or to the church on Good Friday. My parents used to go, so I have to go. No, we are not gathered here out of compulsion. We are not gathered here just to fulfill our Christian duties. We have come here out of love towards Jesus Christ. Let's bear that in mind. Because on the cross, Jesus manifested his love. So in return, we are gathered here of the love towards Jesus Christ. Secondly, there were some people <clears throat> like Pharisees and scribes, they were just entertaining themselves. They were just want to see how Jesus dies. Because they were, they were planning for his death for, a long, death for a long time. And for the past one week, they were trying to arrest him. And they were shocked when people just participated in the procession. As he was riding on the donkey and came towards Jerusalem, all oh, the whole crowd was behind them. So they were really shocked. And now they succeeded in crucifying him on the cross. And they were making fun of him. They mocked at him. He saved other people. Now let's see whether he saves himself. Then someone asked him, come down. You did many miracles. 
show us the sign come down then we will believe you for them it's a sort of entertainment for some people let's see how the choir sings on this day for some people let's see how pastor speaks on the seven words in tamil congregation they used to have seven different people so they will be wondering which one speaks best no we are not here in an entertainment mode we are here to listen to the word of god and hear the word of god yes there were some people who heard jesus christ speaking to them directly to them particularly you can think of mother mary and you can think of the repentant thief then they had the positive attitude toward jesus and jesus spoke to them directly so we are here to hear the word of god if you have the positive mood if you have the receptive mind if you pray that god should speak to you as we meditate on the seven words of jesus christ on the cross you will hear the voice you will have the experience god speaking to you directly just close your eyes loving god give us the right attitude as we gather here in this holy place lord we humbly ask you to speak to us as we meditate on each and every lovely words that you uttered from the cross speak to us oh lord speak to us in jesus name we pray Amen.